Welcome to today's presentation, Introducing Data Maestro. Let me first start by introducing ourselves. Revelwood has been designing and implementing TM1 planning analytics solutions for over 25 years. We have hundreds of successful implementations worldwide to help customers solve their business challenges. Our development team, Revelwood Labs, has been creating tools such as Data Maestro for more than 20 years to help customers enhance their use of TM1 and planning analytics. And the main use that we have we speak business first. Based on that business, what's our problem? Well, some of you may recognize what's on the screen. This is a turbo integrator script or a TI script, or at least a portion of one. Most of the developers that I've worked with over the years love TI. It's a very powerful, very flexible tool. And as scripting languages go, it's, it's somewhat simple. However, most of our planning analytics administrators are not developers. They don't have computer science degrees. They're finance people, they're accounting people. TI was not built for finance users and many of our admins get overwhelmed by Turbo Integrator. Competition to planning analytics uses the approach of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And they use that around Turbo Integrator to scare prospects about the difficulty of maintaining a system, the coding, the design that's out there. And, and, and let's face it, we've got a point. TI was made for developers, not administrators. And this is why we created Data Maestro. So what is Data Maestro? Well, at its core, Data Maestro is a tool that enables administrators to perform data manipulation tasks within their models without the need to do programming, without the need to create Turbo Integrator scripts. It allows the administrators to copy or move or clear or export data, either from a single cube or from multiple cubes, but it's also a lot more. You can group jobs, you can group tasks together, you can run them on a schedule. The tool entails detailed logging, easily accessible right from the tool, and there are email alerts that are automatically sent when jobs are completed. Data Maestro is not a replacement for complex TI. TI, it's a very powerful tool. The Turbo Integrator is great. There's a lot of functionality that belongs in TI, but what Data Maestro does allow you to do is it allows you to manage your Turbo Integrator scripts. It allows you to create tasks that will run pre-existing TI processes directly from the Data Maestro interface. And this will allow you to take advantage of the built-in logging and the messaging features. We have one client who uses Data Maestro exclusively for the logging and messaging features. What are some of the use cases that we would use it for? Well, we have the ability to do versioning. Maybe what we're doing is we are going to precede a budget. Maybe what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating monthly forecasts. By creating all these independent versions, I need the opportunity to grab data from one point, replicate it into another. And as I'm replicating, we also have the ability to do snapshots. Oftentimes, we are going to be in a two, three, four month budget cycle, or maybe we're going to have some kind of a routine script. We're going to repeatedly run a forecast, giving us the ability to replicate that data. Customers want to do the equivalent of a save as in Excel, and we often call that a snapshot. Data Maestro also offers the ability to extract. Maybe we want to simply create some kind of a flat file, some kind of an ASCII file or a text file when we don't have an ODBC connection set up. Data Maestro will allow us to create those files. From the financial aspect, we have the ability to create what-if scenarios. Plain Analytics has something built into it called sandboxing, but it's not a widely used function, mostly because sandboxing is designed to be a personal what-if. Well, when I want to create some kind of a corporate-wide what-if, I need to be able to grab source data, replicate it into another area so that I can then do my best case, worst case, or maybe I'm going to do what if A, what if B. Data Maestro will allow us to do that replication. Maybe we want to make updates to our business structure. Maybe I've hired a brand new salesperson and I want to move the targets from one salesperson to another. Not only do I have the ability to add that new person directly into the system using Data Maestro, I have the ability to replicate that data. And as I'm doing all of this, I want to be able to keep records. I want to be able to leverage the messaging function, the ability to have an audit trail so that I can go back and I can look at every time a job was run and see the results. 
Based on this, we've talked to many of our customers to figure out the benefits that they're getting from the tool. And this is what we're hearing from our customers. Time. The easy to use interface simplifies the navigation. It doesn't require users to repeatedly flip between different interfaces, different screens, do 10 clicks to perform a simple function. By having just a few simple clicks saves them time, which also saves them effort. It saves the effort by not having to write the complex TI code to perform simple tasks. Doing something as simple as a copy paste if I just press Control C and Control V in Excel, it's that simple. Data Maestro is designed to replicate that simplicity. All of this together saves frustration. It reduces frustration over having to search through TM1 message logs and knowing when jobs have completed and managing a series of tasks. If you put that together, the overall theme is it makes it easy to use. By giving administrators a greater comfort level of owning their own system, means they don't have to rely so heavily on outside consultants. This means they don't have to learn a series of new tasks. It gives them the comfort level of being able to have a single tool that performs many functions. And with that, let's take a look at the product in action. So what we're looking at right now is we're looking at a sample database. And to see the data in the database, we've created a PAW view. And what you could see in this PAW view is we're referencing three different cubes. We're referencing one cube called finance detail, another called finance summary, another called plan sales. And for each one of the cubes, we're looking at some of the numbers and we're looking at a chart. Well, the, the thing about these cubes are that they're similar in concept where the two finance cubes are going to have the same set of accounts, operating income, revenue, et cetera, whereas the, the sales cube is going to be a little bit more focused. But while they all have different dimensionality, they share one thing in common. They all have a version dimension. This is where I'm able to look at forecasts. This is where I'm able to look at January snapshots, uh, previous saved off data. So let's imagine that our goal is to close out our forecast and make a snapshot of the data into February. So we're going to, in essence, close out February. Now, if I was doing this in Turbo Integrator, what I would end up doing is I would end up writing a new script. So let's say we're doing this for the finance detail cube. I would write a new script that is going to define my cube, finance detail. I'm going to create all of my parameters. What's my version that I'm copying from? What's the version I'm pasting to? I would write all the prologue aspects, the subsets, the view for the source, the view for the zero out. Then I would write my data tab. I would do my epilogue, the cleanup. Long story short, I would write a pretty complicated script. And, and, and that concept of a script would look something like this. This would give me the opportunity to define a data source. It would give me the opportunity to find parameters. I would have a whole bunch of code, pieces like that. Well, what we want to do is instead of writing that script and instead of having to do it again in finance summary and again in plan sales, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Data Maestro. And we're gonna use Data Maestro to replicate that concept. And instead of having to code, I'll be able to use the tool in a wizard-based approach. So. What we're looking at right now is we're looking at the Data Maestro screen. And Data Maestro breaks their aspects down for today's purposes into the equivalent of what we knew as Turbo Integrator Scripts and Turbo Integrator Chores. Turbo Integrator Scripts are what we call tasks. Turbo Integrator Chores are what we call packages. Well, in order for us to create a new task, we're simply going to go into the Task tab. We're simply going to click on Add Task, and we're going to fill in the wizard. And the concept of the wizard says, let me just work my way down the, the list. Let me work my way down the screen and determine what I'm going to do. First thing I determine is, what am I going to do? And that's what we call a task type. This is where we have the ability to do a copy. I want to copy paste. This is where we have the ability to do a move. I want to do a cut and paste. This is where we have the opportunity to zero out. Maybe I want to do the equivalent of a view zero out or something where I'm clearing out my data. For this example, we're copying data from forecast. We're pasting it into that new February snapshot. I'm going to keep it a copy. Then we define where we're grabbing our data from. That's what we call our source. We have the ability to define either a single cube or multiple cubes. And in this particular case, we're going to do a single cube. What we're doing is we're grabbing data for the finite detail cube. So I'm simply going to say, let me take a single cube. I'm going to click on the box to determine which cube, and I'm going to choose finance detail. As soon as I choose finance detail, 
the screen fills in below. And what the screen's going to fill in with is it's going to give me a list of all of the dimensions for that cube in order. And now I have the opportunity to go into each one of the dimensions and figure out where am I copying from. So in this particular case, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to grab from our forecast version. I'm going to go to version. I'm simply going to click on it. And this screen now gives me the ability to do a selection in a lot of different ways. If I simply wanted to click on forecast, I click on forecast and I say, OK, maybe I wanted to do a couple of them. Maybe I wanted to do a forecast plus I wanted to copy over budget. I have the ability to do multiple selections. Maybe I want to select from a set of elements. I've got a whole bunch of subsets built into my system. Maybe I want to choose the subset. Maybe I want to do things based on some kind of an attribute. Maybe I want to do consolidation. If I was looking at the time dimension, maybe I want to say, I want this for January and February and March. But instead of picking that three times, I could say, just pick quarter one. Data Maestro offers all that functionality. But for today's exercise, we're simply going to say, let me copy from the forecast. Once I've determined where I'm copying from, now I go to the right side of the screen. I define my source. Now I define my target. When I send my target, where do I want to send it to? I can send it to the same cube or a different cube. If I send it to the same cube, the dimensions are the same. If I send it to a different cube, I'll be prompted to determine anything that's different. Tell me what to do. If there are dimensions that don't exist, tell me where to put it. If there are dimensions that exist on one side and not in the other, tell me how to consolidate. And then when I'm doing my paste, what do I want to do? Do I want to replace or do I want to accumulate? All of this is defined in a wizard-based approach, so all I have to do is click on the dropdown. Well, in this particular case, by default, I'm saying copy from forecast and I'm going to paste to the same spot. Data Maestro does that to ensure that I have a place to paste it to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to paste it somewhere else. So I'm simply going to click on forecast and I'm going to select my target. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let me put this in my snapshots. So I'm going to go into the snapshots and I'm going to say, hey, wait a second. I said that I want to do this in February. February doesn't exist. I see January exists, but February doesn't. So if I were in a TM1 environment, if I were in a planning analytics environment, what I would now do is I would say, let me go talk to my administrator. And then my administrator is going to go into the dimension editor. And within dimension editor, they're going to create the element. And then we're going to, and all the different tasks that come with it. Data Maestro allows you to do that in a single click. I'm going to go into snapshots and I'm going to say, I want to add a brand new snapshot. I'm going to click on a button that says create a new child. I'm going to call it Feb snapshot. And I say, OK, something as simple as a single click. Now, when I go into snapshots, there's a brand new element. I didn't need to go to other interfaces. I didn't need to go to other screens. I didn't even need to talk to other people. I could say, paste this into the February snapshot. I say, OK. And now I've created a Data Maestro script. And one of the things you're going to notice is you're going to notice that all I did is fill in the dimensions that are applicable to me. I define my version source. I define my version target. I didn't define any of the other dimensions. Data Maestro is smart enough to look through the dimensions and say, all right, you told me what you want to do. For everything else, I'll just do it all for you. So it's going to go through all business units, all departments, all. And it's going to work its way down the dimensions. Once I've completed this, now I can go back up on the top. I can save it. I'm going to give it a name. And in this particular case, I'm just going to call it create... Feb snapshot. I can also put some notes or some commentary in there for myself if I wanted to. And I'm going to say save. And once I've saved it, I've got notification that this script, this turbo integrator script, this data maestro task has already been written for me. It's been created. And now if I want to run it, I just simply click on save and run. I'm going to get a prompt. You sure you want to do it? I'm not going to have the opportunity to accidentally run something that I didn't want to. It's going to be user protection. There's going to be, are you sure, notifications. And I'm going to say yes. And now what's going to happen is Data Maestro is going to perform all the tasks associated with this copy. It's going to look for any of the other aspects because I'm saving it. It's going to see if anything's changed. It's going to write the script for me. It's going to create the prologue and the data and the epilogue and all those aspects. It's going to keep tracking for me. It's going to update the logs. And, and at any point in time, I can go back to the tasks and I can see the pieces that were saved off. I can look at the logs. I can look at the history where it's going to record for me. 
Did it run? When was it created? Show me the details of the run. Show me the details of what happened. Show me the log behind the scenes. It's going to give me all of those aspects. And most importantly, it's going to let me know when it's done. When it's done, it's going to send me an email letting me know this particular task that you created, it ran. Here's the status of it, whether it was successful or not. And it's going to give me a link to be able to log in and go back and look at these logs. But most importantly, it's going to do what I wanted. It's going to copy the data. So now I can go back to my demo dashboard. I can change my versions. I'm going to go into PAW and I'm going to go into the subset editor. Right now I'm looking at forecast in January. Well, I created that new element February. It's now set up as one of my available members. So I'm going to insert that in. I'm going to apply to change my PAW screen. And now what you're going to see is now you're going to see that it performed the copy for me. In this particular case, they all share the same dimension. They all share the version. In this particular case, I built them symmetrical. So you're going to see that there's a February snapshot in all three of my views. But in this particular case, I only told Data Maestro to do its magic on just the finance detail cube. So you'll see that that's the one populated. You'll be able to see that I had 478, 478. I told it to do a direct copy. Data Maestro did it. But maybe what I wanted to do is maybe I wanted to show a what if. Maybe I wanted to look into the what if and say, I don't want to just copy forecast over to the February. I want to see what would happen if I grew at 20%. When I go back into my tasks, instead of creating something brand new or instead of having to read through any coding, I can go right back to that task that I created. I can go into an edit mode. And I could say, hey, everything here has already been saved. It's got my copy. It's got my single cube. It's got all my aspects. And one of the other pieces that I we, we hadn't gone through before is multiply factor. This gives me the opportunity to not just copy and paste, but to copy, paste, and grow. So maybe I want to multiply it by 20%. Maybe I want to multiply it by 1.2. I can increase the number. I still want to replace the target value. So even though I ran this before, this is the equivalent of saying, I want to zero out what's already there. I want to multiply it by 1.2, 20% increase, and I want to grow it. And now I have the ability to, again, save and run. Are you sure you want to do it? And what the system's going to do is as I'm saving it, it's going to say it's going to save the multiply factor. As I'm running it, it's going to update the script that it creates. And just like before, it's getting the logging. I'm looking at the emails, the other aspects. But now when I go back to my dashboard, when I refresh my data, I'm going to see that not only did it do the copy, but it did the copy with the growth. Data Maestro gives us the opportunity to do the aspects that we need when I'm creating a script, but at any point in time, I can come back and easily edit it, easily manipulate it. And one other feature that Data Maestro has is we've created this for the finance detail cube. Well, what I can do is I can go in and I can create another task for finance summary. I can create another task for plan sales and I can do it three times. Or I could say to myself, hey, all three of these share something in common. All three of these share that version dimension. Data Maestro gives me the opportunity to utilize that together so that when I'm doing my scripts, instead of doing it off of a single cube, I could do it off of multiple cubes all at once. In this particular case, I want to do it for all three of the cubes. So I'm going to click on multiple cubes. And what we're going to see is we're going to see that the bottom has changed. It no longer gives me a list of the dimensions of a cube because there's multiple cubes coming into play. And it's telling me that there's 89 cubes available. And if I were to click on the expansion, it would show me all of the cubes. It would show me all of my standard cubes. It would show me all of my control cubes, the ones that start with the curly brace. And it would tell me that there's 89 cubes. And from there, I can select the specific cubes that I want to work with. But in this particular case, I want to start filtering that down. I want to filter it down to say, show me all the cubes that have that version dimension. So I can add a dimension to my parameters. And I could say, I want to choose the dimension. I want to choose the one called plan version. And within plan version, now it's going to tell me, hey, there's only seven cubes that apply. In this particular case, it's now giving me the opportunity to not have to look through 89 cubes. It's giving me the opportunity to look at seven cubes. But more importantly, it's giving me the option to say, hey, let me select all seven cubes, or let me look at just the ones I care about. Finance detail, finance summary, plan sales. The system will give me the information to tell me that there's seven cubes I can choose from that have the plan version dimension. I've selected three of them. Go ahead and do your magic. 
Well, now the next step with Data Maestro is to find your magic. I want to do the exact same thing again. I want to go into my element for the version. I want to grab from my forecast. I'm going to say, okay, that's my source. Now I'm going to go into my target. I had previously created that February snapshot, so I'm going to choose it again. I'm going to say, okay, I'm still creating it as the 1.2 multiply factor. And based on that, now I can save and run. And just like before, it's going to say, are you sure you want to do it? But the difference now is Data Maestro is not creating a script. Data Maestro is now creating a set of scripts. It's creating one script for the summary cube. It's creating one script for the detail cube. It's creating one script for the planned sales cube. And it's writing the script and it's running the script and it's logging and it's emailing and doing all the different aspects that we talked about before. So that now when I go back into my dashboard, when I click on the ability to um, refresh the data, we're going to see that all of the cubes have been populated and all of the cubes have grown. My 478 grew to 573, just like we saw before in detail, but it did the exact same thing in summary. It grew my numbers here from 14 to 17. It updated my data, it updated my charts. Data Maestro gave me the opportunity within a, a, a very short time frame. When, when, when we did this just now, we were talking through, we wanted to do a little explanation, we wanted to do a, a little bit of a, a review of all the aspects. But as you get comfortable with this, you'll be able to create a copy paste script in a matter of seconds, anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. And then to run it, it'll run efficiently. It'll make sure that the script is written in a way that you saw how fast it ran just now. It will allow you to create a script, run a script, perform your steps in a small matter of minutes. Once I'm done with those scripts, I have the ability to create them in packages. So had I wanted to create this where maybe I'm going to do it for the version dimension and maybe I'm going to do something else or maybe I want to um, run some other aspects, at any point in time, I can create the equivalent of a chore, what we call a package. And the way that I add a package is the same exact way that I added a task. I click on the option that says add package. I give it a name. We're going to call this Feb snapshot. I click on save. I've now I've created a package and now I can add activities to it. And I purposely use the word activities, not tasks, because when we add activities, we can add Data Maestro tasks. So I can go into the Data Maestro task and I could say, let's take that new February snapshot and I can add it. But what I can also do is I can add pre-existing turbo integrator processes. This way, if I have other scripts that I've written, what we said before is that Data Maestro is not a replacement of turbo integrator. You will have other turbo integrator scripts. You will have other needs that you have through your entire system. Those needs have the opportunity to be added and used into your package into Data Maestro, where this is going to give me a list of all of my scripts. And at any point in time, I can add one of these processes. I say add. And then when I'm done, I've actually created my grouping. I've created my package. This screen gives me information where I can change the order. I can go back in and I can edit at any point in time. I can determine if they're tasks or processes. It's going to give me some information about it. But from there, I now have the opportunity to run it. Or once the package has been created, I also have the ability to edit the schedule. Just like chores gave you the opportunity to schedule it, packages give you the opportunity to schedule it. I can determine my start date. I can determine what time I want to run it. I can determine how often I want to run it. Is it a one-time deal or is it something where I want to repeatedly schedule? Based on all of these aspects, I have the ability within a matter of just a few short minutes to be able to create an entire copy-paste script to package and schedule them together so that I can manipulate my data. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope the presentation gave you some information about Data Maestro. Please contact us with any questions you may have about the tool or to discuss anything else related to your planning analytics environment.